your coach got slimed. Uh, I noticed that. Um, after I saw that. I did an interview right after the game with one of the Nickelodeon kids, and I was like, yo, if this line bucket comes out, I'm taking off. I saw Sean had his retro 11 low yeah, J's on. He did. And you hate to see a good pair of J's go, because those are done. You can't clean those. You sure? Don't hate them, call it done. There's no way for those shoes to be cleaned or anything like that, huh? Not, not at all. I think that slime is going to be in there. Like, that, that goop is probably never leaving. I know there's Dame time. Is there, can we come up with something? Is there a McCollum moment? I know that's a, that's a lot of syllables. Uh, yeah, you can come up with something, man. I don't. I just get buckets oh. and I go home. <laughs> My guys right now are turning all sh- shades of red. They're. They don't want me to do this, right? Obviously, we love CJ, so we want what's best for him. Right, and that's so we what... got to really make sure it's a good one before we unveil. So you don't want a nickname, is what you're saying, essentially? It doesn't matter to me, man. If you come up with one, I'll embrace it, depending on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the depending came after yeah, I heard that. Yes. Okay, what's the moment, Calais, where where things began to change for the better? We kind of got a spark because when uh, Lamar came back after getting the IV against the Browns to win that ball game. You said Lamar came back from an IV. You're... <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he was coming back from? Yeah, I get people, uh, they were, they were just buying to me. So the man thought he'd come back from an IV, that's what he comes back from. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened in the locker room, but my man said he came up from my IV, so that was it. We'll just leave it at that, right? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> your best Bills Mafia story in your time. What do you got? Last year, I got reached out to by someone, and they said, hey, will you do a, a tailgate appearance before the game? This guy's drinking a Guinness, and I must have said something that he thought was funny. He spits into the top of this solo cup of Guinness, and it just covers me. So I'm covered in <laughs> Guinness beer now before a broadcast. And then we all agree that the only proper repercussions is that I should slam him through a table. <laughs> Are you in advance telling members of your friends and family sorry in advance? No, no, no. I'm just letting them know. I don't want the negative vibes. I don't want to about the same. And they call my phone. Turn the know, phone uh, off, right? You're turning your phone off, right? That's for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. They know. You know I call my phone talking about this thing. I don't hear nothing about football because I know it deep down they root for me, but they're going for the same thing. <laughs> Is it true that extras on that film were John Bon Jovi and Tom Cruise? Okay, it's better absolutely word. Absolutely true. John Bon Jovi got his tag card by getting shot on camera coming out of the pit. No so, yes, kidding. 100% true. So yes. John Bon Jovi got his Screen Actors Guild card by getting shot in a cameo in Young Guns. John wanted to hang around on set for a couple of weeks to write the soundtrack. And then one night, it's like, hey, let's throw John in there and shoot him. <laughs> no so kidding. That Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.